Okay, I have talked a lot about the upcoming consoles and 5G, but I have not talked at all about Wi-Fi 6, the upcoming IEEE standard for Wi-Fi. It's scheduled to go publish this year, however, there are already a few routers and other devices you can find which have this capability active at the moment. What is Wi-Fi 6? Well, the short answer is it's a larger capability Wi-Fi that's going to be able to support a lot more devices at the same time. Largely supposed to be a hardware upgrade that is going to be able to, like I said, support many more, uh, many more users at the same time. <clears throat> I could go into all the specifications and the technical stuff <coughs> Excuse me. I could go into all the technical stuff that explains how and why all this is going on, but you're not here for that, probably. Instead, you'll find that link or whatever you need to look in, look up in the description down below. Now, anyway, what does this mean for you? It means that. When you're playing a game on the upcoming consoles, whether it's the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Scarlet, you will see less lag because you will be able to swallow more of the, um, let's just say, you'll be able to use up more of the band than you would have otherwise, allowing for a much more rich connection o over the internet using your Wi-Fi 6 capable router and why and how are how do i know that they are going to be compatible with wi-fi 6 short answer sony and microsoft want to future proof their upcoming consoles they're expected to last five to six years and because the next wi-fi standard is likely not going to be launched until 2023 at the earliest like the the next consumer level one um, that means that they are going to have to make this upcoming console set compatible with the much more capable Wi-Fi 6 connections. So, long story short, you will be able to enjoy that game of Firewall far easier on your PlayStation 5 than you would have your PlayStation 4. And that is especially true because the PlayStation 5 is going to be backward compatible with all PlayStation 4 and below games without having to go through a PlayStation Now subscription. That is already confirmed at this point. But I believe that's all there really is to it for now. Like I said, I'll link all the stories and pictures and stuff in the description down below. If you guys are still here and you're feeling charitable in some way, you can activate that charity in a few different ways. The first one, you can go to HumbleBundle.com and pick out one of the bundles that they have for sale there. When you get one of these bundles, you're not, you're not only able to get some good software or books or games or what, whatever it is that you're, you're choosing, but you're also able to support a charity of your choice. They have a few different ones available, so you don't have to feel necessarily tied down to helping children or animals. The, even though, well, animals are always a good one, aren't they? And then, if that is up your speed, I'm selling these headphones on Amazon. Link on screen. I personally use them. I really like them, and they've been working out really well for me. If that still doesn't really work out well for you, I've got a link on screen also for my Patreon. Well, up here, somewhere, I, I don't know where I'll put it, but you'll find it somewhere, I hope, probably, maybe. Uh, I think this is a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.